So hey, room 1993 with a tutorial on the graphical programming language processing which is a language especially for beginners and people who want to become beginners so it is a graphical programming language what does that mean? that means that it's especially used in art and for creating games sometimes but only in 2D because processing in 3D uh, causes some sometimes causes crashes of the programs and it's not very fast and it's not it has not very good graphics but for processing in 3D there are solutions that are quite good like this OpenGL library you can use for creating 3D programs with processing that are quite intensive for example 3D games but if I were you I would use a different language to create a 3D game for example the developer of Apple with Xcode and so on so the um, HD of processing is quite simple we have a line over here with file edit sketch tools and help and what we have over here is run stop new open, save and export um, run executes the application immediately for example this one this is the program we want to have when we have finished our tutorial here um, I press the button run and so it opens and this is a program which, surprise, surprise, it draws rectangles on the screen and it, in fact, it never stops and the rectangles have a nice random color as the background has. And then we have a function which is called mouse press and when I press the mouse there are drawn lines between these rectangles but the function doesn't stop we will leave out void mouse pressed today because I don't have it finished no I don't have finished it I'm very sorry um, so let's proceed we leave the, this sketch open because when you have programmed with processing it's pretty useful if you can orient at your last sketches not to make the same mistake again as it often happens in this kind of business of programming and so on so what we're gonna do First, we're gonna bring our first shape on the screen. It is a line. For that, we need to to uh, type in line and give him give her give it some some parameters. In fact. 25, 25, 25, 25. Yeah. No, that doesn't work here. I'm sorry, so like that. We're gonna run it, and what we have is a spot on the screen, not even a real line. Don't be disappointed. 
shit happens. So we're gonna um, draw a new line. And this time we give the line some random parameters that are called with random height. And we can copy them into the next line. Then we make a second bracket and end the function with this semicolon here. And then we run it. What we can see now is we have a line, but it is not in our screen because it is too big and it is right outside but we of course we want to see our work so next thing we learn how to give a window a size you write size put two brackets and a semicolon to make sure you don't forget anything and then you write between the brackets you write 400 uh, 400 400 so and now the line is in our view don't forget that the line always looks different re different differently i'm sorry because um we it has got random parameters we have got random parameters yeah, super. That is also why the cover of Warcraft 3 is smaller than the cover of my favorite LP, for example. Wow. No. Um.